as you can see, the depth of field of this particular objective is insufficient to image this entire object. This is a cucumber seed. We are going to uh, ask Live EDF to uh, help us in this, uh, to get the entire depth of field of this whole seed without any motorized functionality on the microscope whatsoever. In the capture dialog box, once you have a good image by adjusting the, the gain and so on, and the exposure time, you simply turn on Live EDF. And if you notice, this um, box is checked, which means it's going to, on the fly, accumulate the images and choose the uh, the portions of the each image that's in the best focus. By the time we land at the end, uh, we'll have an entire image fully in focus. I first start up the Live EDF module. On the left, I'm going to focus the microscope rather early. And you can see on the left, the image is still live. On the right is the EDF image. So I am just going to simply grab the focus knob and slowly move it through the focus train. And if you take a look at the right-hand image as I do so, you need to do it somewhat slowly so that the image can catch up. It'll only, a typical image like this might take 10 or 15 cents at most. And if you notice, by the time I get to the bottom of the focus on a live image, the top portion of the seat is out of focus, but our EDF image is fully in focus. I stop the live EDF, and while well, I have my full extended depth of field image as now an image that can be saved, so that is extended depth of field.